The Rivian R1T is one of the most innovative electric vehicles you can buy today. And here are seven genius features found on this midsize pickup truck that other automakers should probably steal. Though later on in this video, I'll also highlight a couple bonus items, things that Rivian might want to borrow from the competition. But come on, let's check it out. All right, our first brilliant Rivian feature is found right here, and it's called the gear tunnel. And basically, it's a body width pass-through that is about 65 inches in length. And you can open the door right here either by pushing a button right up on the rail of the bed, which I'm going to do right now, or you can, of course, open these doors from the infotainment screen. But once you hit the button, this folds down just like that revealing, of course, the gear tunnel. Like I said, it's about 65 inches long, roughly 11.7 cubic feet of storage space. It's great for gym bags or shopping bags, all kinds of different bags. Or, of course, if you run to the home improvement store, you can stash some fairly lengthy items in there as well. Now, once the door is down, these are super high quality, by the way, but once they're folded down, they do support up to 250 pounds, so it's a great place to sit while camping or putting your shoes or boots on. Of course, you can also stand on this surface to reach the roof of the truck. So overall, the gear tunnel, a super clever use of space on the R1T. Quoting the good book, Rivian engineers said, let there be light, and there was specifically a flashlight mounted here in the door panel. And the startup automaker is sort of taking a page from the Rolls-Royce playbook, because if you remember, the ultra-luxury British automaker is very famous for mounting umbrellas in the door panels of its cars. But anyway, this right here is the Rivian torch. It puts out up to 1,000 lumens of light. And of course, it has three different brightness settings. You just click the button on top like that, one, two, and three, and then off again. The battery should last for up to 18 hours. And of course, this whole thing with the contacts on the back does charge when it is docked in the door panel right here. And I've got to say, this Rivian torch has a very high quality feel to it. It's dense and solid. And of course, you're not going to want to lose this because it's about 175 bucks to replace. Moving rearward, the R1T has some super clever features in the bed. Now, to access this cargo box, there's another button up here on the rail. You just press that, and the tailgate drops down just like that. And of course, once this gate is lowered, you'll see there's a small lever off to the side here, the driver's side of the pickup truck. You pull that, and we can see that releases a very large section of the floor, which you can lift up fairly easily. It's got gas shocks. You pull it a little bit farther, it opens really wide. And of course, that reveals a deep and spacious well, a perfect place for storing the spare tire, keeps it out of the elements in a weather-tight bin. Now, if you don't have a tire here, that's of course a great place to store cargo. Or you can even use this area as a cooler. Obviously, this is very similar to the Honda Ridgeline, and of course, it is a brilliant feature. But closing this up, like that, very solid feel. A couple other things of note, the overall length of this cargo box is about 54 inches, though of course when you drop the tailgate that expands the overall length to roughly 84 inches. Additionally, we have this small sort of flapper here that goes between the main floor of the bed and the tailgate to bridge this gap that you would normally have. So this should make it a lot easier to load cargo into the R1T, maybe a dirt bike or a four-wheeler, something like that. But a lot of clever engineering in the business end of this pickup. Point number four, the Rivian R1T offers some seriously impressive off-road capability. Thanks to this mid-sized truck's relatively small exterior dimensions, it should be able to climb like an absolute mountain goat. This thing can also go through more than 43 inches of water, and it offers up to 14.9 inches of ground clearance. Beyond that, the approach, breakover, and departure angles are all fairly generous. Plus, if you go for the $3,850 all-terrain package, you also get enhanced underbody shielding, unique 20-inch wheels, and then, of course, very knobby all-terrain tires, and it even says so right on the sidewall. In just a minute, I'll tell you a couple features that could really improve the R1T, but for now, if you're off-roading, it can be hugely beneficial to air down your tires. This often gives you better grip on rocks and can prevent a vehicle from sinking into loose sand. But the problem is, when you're done 
wheeling for the day and you've got to drive home, you should really air your tires back up. And normally you might bring a, a portable air compressor along, but that can be pretty clunky. With an R1T, however, you do not need to worry about any of that because they've integrated an air compressor right into the cargo box. You can see here we've got a digital readout and some very easy to use controls right here along with an air fitting. Super clever engineering. Beyond that, we also have this little pouch which fits neatly into the door of the gear tunnel. If you unzip this just like that, you can see we've got a few Schrader valves, some tire sealer as well, plus a couple other odds and ends. And then there is a 20 foot air hose, which should be enough to go around and hit all four wheels on this pickup truck. Now, of course, this is not the first implementation of an in-vehicle air compressor, but it's a feature that is awesome to have. Inside, Rivian has done a fantastic job with the R1T's infotainment system. Not only is this 15.6 inch touchscreen bright and clear, but the multimedia array that runs on here, it absolutely flies. This is easily one of the most responsive infotainment systems I have ever used that I have ever experienced in the automotive industry. It just responds instantly. And it's powered by Epic's Unreal Engine, so that's probably why it performs as well as it does. But not only is this set up fast, lightning fast, the overall design is also beautiful and the system is super intuitive. Next up, Rivian offers loads of powertrain choice here in the R1T. You know, typically with electric vehicles, you get, you know, maybe front and all-wheel drive and perhaps two different battery capacities, but that's not the case here. You get tons of choice. So the standard configuration is a dual motor all-wheel drive setup. It's got 533 horsepower, which is enough to get you from zero to 60 in a very quick 4.5 seconds. Stepping up the ladder is the Performance Dual Motor All-Wheel Drive configuration. It's $5,000 more, but it's got 665 horsepower and can get you to 60 miles per hour in just three and a half seconds. Finally, there's a Quad Motor All-Wheel Drive configuration, which is what we have in this particular truck. It's $8,000 more than the base configuration, but it comes with 835 horsepower, 908 pound-feet of torque, which is enough to get you from zero to 60 in three seconds flat. Three battery sizes are also on the menu, though not all of them are available with every powertrain configuration. In this case, with the quad motor version, we have the middle offering, the so-called large pack. With our truck, it provides 274 miles of range. But now for a few things Rivian could do better. And just like a Toyota BZ4X SUV, this R1T pickup truck has no glove box, unfortunately. Now, of course, you do get a fairly large center console, but it's always nice to have a little bit of storage space ahead of the front seat passenger. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this truck's infotainment system is fantastic. It's beautiful, it's intuitive, and it absolutely flies. But unfortunately, this setup does not support Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, at least at this time. And the folks at Rivian believe they can deliver a better, more integrated experience with their own software. And of course, this does work extremely well, but having smartphone mirroring is always a good thing. Another area where Rivian could improve is in switchgear. So basically what they've done is minimize the number of physical controls and dials in this cabin. There's no volume knob on the dashboard, no start button, and you only get a couple unlabeled controls here on the steering wheel spokes. So you immediately jump into this truck. You don't have much of an idea of what you're doing. You have no idea what these controls are for or where other things are found. And a perfect example of this is if you want to adjust the steering wheel tilt or telescopic settings, you gotta go into the screen, then you tap steering wheel, then you use these controls here. Again, unlabeled controls on the steering wheel to adjust the column where you want it. And is that hard to do? No. Once you own this vehicle, once you drive it, you're going to learn that stuff. But just jumping in right away, there's a bit of a learning curve. And personally, I would rather just have physical switches for all of these functions, but maybe I'm a little old fashioned. And finally, back outside, there's one more thing that could be improved. Just like other all electric pickup trucks, the R1T does have a front trunk, which you can pop open by hitting a button right down there under the grill. And you can see the hood motors up all on its own. But unlike say an F-150 Lightning or a Silverado EV, this section of the front end of the, the grill does not go along for the ride with the hood. 
which is fine. However, it means the lift over height is a little bit higher. It's about 42 inches from this surface to the ground when this truck is in its lowest suspension setting. So you've got to just lift that cargo up a little bit higher than you perhaps would in competing electric pickup trucks. But regardless, you do get about 11 cubic feet of room in the R1T, which is a good amount of space. So there you go, that's a quick overview of some of the R1T's ingenious features, plus a couple areas where this truck could be improved. But overall, I am super impressed by this all-electric truck. You know, the products offered by some startup automakers can be, they can be pretty rough, but I'll tell you, this Rivian feels like it's more than ready for prime time. The R1T is well-built, thoughtfully engineered, and frankly, pretty comfortable. So overall, I think the company has a winner on its hands. If you can't get enough electric pickup trucks, check out my full review of the Ford F-150 Lightning by clicking right over here.